folks, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. So I know that this is a different setup than my other videos. Today's video is setting up my TBR book cart. The first books that I'm going to be putting in here are actually books that I just got today. This is the box set of A Court of Thrones and Roses. I already read the first one and now I have these two. And I have the last one coming in the mail. I have A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Wings and Ruin. These are going to most likely be my next read just because I've already read the first one. Really need to get onto these. I am kind of going to be putting it in specific order of the top being books that I want to read next month and then the month after that and then the month after that. These are also going there. This is New Moon, this is the next book I'm on in Twilight, and this is the start of the Moral Instruments series. This has been on my TBR for so long. So we have Heartless, Six of Crows, and Pet Cemetery. We then have Outlander and The Woman in the Window. The next book on my TBR is The Midnight Lie. I've been hearing really, 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 really good things about this, and I'm, I haven't read it yet, and I keep hearing people talking about it on Twitter and I'm, I'm far behind. And this one, because this is one of my swap books, so I kind of have to finish this soon. And I feel like I can easily fly through this. I keep saying that this is like something something wives of Alexander Hugo, I believe that's what it's called. I keep hearing that this is very similar. I feel like I want this to be middle of November. I want to start reading this. So the next one, I keep hearing people talking about her books um, and yeah, I really want to read this because if I like this, then I want to buy Rose, Roseblood, I, it's the one of the retailing of the Phantom of the Opera. Then we have Ash Princess, I keep hearing people hyping this up, especially on TikTok. I keep going back to, oh, should I read those? Or should I read those next? Should I read those next? So I'm just putting them on my TBR. I've been really wanting to read Lord of the Flies for a while. I grew up with my dad constantly rereading this and annotating it. This is his favorite book. So I really want to read it. I feel like it's one of the classics that I haven't read yet. Trusting You and Other Lies by Nicole Williams. Um, I feel like this is a good end of the year book. So I'm going to put this one at the bottom. Um, Speak. I still haven't read this book. Definitely need to re read this one. This one's gonna go right there. The Book Thief. Now, The Book Thief is, I know we all do this. We are all guilty of this. This is the book that I lied that I have read and I have not read it. Until tomorrow, Mr. Marsworth goes to Watchmen. I really wanna read these. I got these yesterday and I'm just very, very intrigued so much. I feel like this book is going to talk about new slates a lot, so this is a perfect end of the year book. One that I'm gonna put right here, um, Serpent and Dove. I've been hearing mixed reviews about this one, so I kind of just want to read it just to see how I feel about it. If I do DNF it, it's not the end of the world. I won't be super upset because I've heard that a lot of people have been doing that because it's just it's just not a, their cup of tea. So that's gonna go right there. Now the next one that I really want to read is Little B. I'm actually gonna switch this one for Pet Cemetery, and I'm gonna put Pet Cemetery down here for end of the year book because I have been hearing people talking about this on my social media, and I have no idea what this book is about, and I don't want it to get spoiled. Little Woman. I still have not read this. Favorite movie of all time, Little Women. So I feel like it's not appropriate that I haven't read the book. Little Fires Everywhere. I really want to read this. Uh, I have a feeling it's kind of gonna, I have no idea what this is about, but for some reason, it gives me huge The Woman in the Window vibes. So I feel like I'm gonna like this a lot. The Goldfinch. Uh, I don't really know what this book is about. All I know is that it is a lot of people's favorite book of all time. I'm gonna take the cover off because I just love how this looks without the cover on it. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I've not read this book. It's probably one of the John Green books I have not read and it's a nice, short, easy read. Okay, last three books. Pride and Prejudice. 
I have never read this book. I've been hearing a lot of commotion about this book and I still have not read it at all. Moxie. This is going to be a perfect, 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 perfect last book of 2020, I have a feeling. And then also, I'm putting this one here because I just want it out of the way before 2020 ends. This is the second Harry Potter, this is Chamber of Secrets. I'm not liking this one, I am not liking it. I am about right, right here. It's barely even halfway, but it's too similar to the movie where I'd rather, much rather watch the movie. Um, and I know that's crazy of me to say as a reader. It's just way too similar. I feel like I'm watching the movie. I wanted a little something of, ooh, that's, that's not in the movie, you know? Now, what I'll probably do is I'll listen to the audiobook off and on between reading another one of these books. That's what I'm most likely going to do. So that's why I'm putting it on here, but I'm not really going to be reading it. I hope that makes sense. There we go! Oh my god! I'm so happy! She's so cute! I'm so grateful! Yay! She's so pretty! Thank you so much for watching today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know in the comments down below if any of these books are on your TBR as well, or if you have read any of these and what you thought about them. All my social medias will be down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.